Here we have a laser 160 converted to CDI. It's one single unit with dual output sensor. Let's see if this tachometer will like to work with me. As usual, they don't. Well, the camera doesn't work, but anyway, it's somewhere around 1200. Oops, it stops too much. All right, that's good. We can start it, but anyway, here is a prop. It's a VES 168. Okay, uh, the setup it's regular glow, 15%. I didn't put two clunks, and because of the two carburetor, I'm trying to get through one. It's working okay. We just uh, wanted to see how the ignition works, so that's fine. Let's see. So as you can see, it starts. It looks like the tachometer wants to work a little bit. Here we go. Come on. But listen to that sound. Laser engines, they're really wonderful. This is my first experience with one. But boy, I tell you what. They are lovely. Great job for John of lasers. So this is the 160 laser. Very beautiful engine. The next thing what I want to do, I want to replace those two carburetors with an Evolution 10cc carburetors. Need to make those to adapt it because the Evolution carburetors that are a little bit bigger in diameter right here. So the carburetor is going to stick a little bit out more in order to clear this part. So whatever this part is right here is going to be right here so the car really probably is going to stick out 25 millimeters an inch more back but I will see when when that's going to come how, how it's going to be I looked also on how to put a regular Walboro or Zama carburetor on it due to the angle that both of them they have it's pretty hard to do it's pretty hard and it's going to be a lot of machining and 90s there and the angles and I'm not sure if that's going to be a really good idea but I'm going to try with the Evolution 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is it? There we go. Sorry about that. This is what I'm talking about. It's a pump carburetor. It looks pretty much close to the Sado carburetors for FG20, 21, 14B and all that. So it looks pretty much the same. So that's what I'm talking about. To try to, and actually this one is the 20cc's, the 15cc's, uh, the 10cc's it's a little bit smaller. But this, to have it here somewhere on the back, and it's pumped, and I'll try to go on gasoline. I run this engine also on gasoline, and it runs fine. Just like, I think it was around 500-600 RPMs lower, but I couldn't get the, the carburetors to go well with the gas, a lot of fine tuning. Hopefully with this carburetor, since it's a pump, it will take care of uh, that part by itself. We'll see when that's gonna be. Okay, now, okay, let's put this in my pocket. It stood up for a little bit. Hopefully it's still primed. Let's try to start it again. Uh, I don't, this is the part that I don't like, but, oh well. Listen to the little <laughs> Harley. <laughs> Wonderful sound. Now here the tuck it went dead again. Okay. I went too much, but you see that. Anyway, let's try again. Oops. No. Nope. So, like I said, once again, this is the laser engine made in UK by John, and he does a really, really good job with this. I really like it. I have a 200 also, and a 300 that is gonna come next to do. Here is the way what I'm doing. Okay, power it off. Don't wanna smack my fingers. Okay, so, as you can see, we have two magnets, one north, one, uh, one south, one north on the 90 degree apart the sensor it's sensor where are you who uh, hey come on hey, yeah it's right here so let's see maybe I can focus it a little bit okay sensor is right here one cylinder fire and then the next one fires okay so if anyone is wondering how I do that now this, it's a dual output sensor that you will be able to see in the same capsule, the south and north, okay? Here, okay, focus. Uh, here is the magnet ring and here is the sensor ring that I put two set screws. This is on the taper. The lovely part of that was to figure out exactly the taper. Um, so two set screws and what I do, I use my favorite. I put JB Weld first, I put it on and then tied off the set screws. That will make sure that it's not gonna vibrate loose. Uh, it has to be 120 and actually as you can see, they go pretty nice in an angle. Lovely. Then again, I love this engine. I have also Enya VT240 that I will try to do the same thing. 
that's I believe an 80 degree not 90 like this one but okay so here is the CDI ignition it's one unit with independent fire so each cylinder fires independently it's not a, a regular twin unit I hope that you enjoy it and let me know if you have any questions thank you again this is Adrian from CH Ignitions